because I drink alone. Yeah, all by myself. All right, uh, dwarf, really, Earl, you're gonna do dwarf again? Dwarf some more? More with the dwarf? Leave the poor guy alone? Here's what you don't understand about Dorf, and maybe about me. Um, I love the whole idea of some sort of finite, finite story with infinite repetition. I mean, Godzilla movies, dude. Why don't they think of something different for Godzilla to do? Like, Godzilla... <laughs> we were talking about Godzilla uh, last night. It was like... Godzilla's walking across Tokyo, and it's like, Tokyo can't take that personally, because Godzilla's just walking. Um, there's this one, Matthew Broderick Godzilla, there's, he's, where he's walking across the desert, and they're measuring his footprints, and there's like this tanker that was offshore, and Godzilla just walked right through the middle of it. Godzilla's not even going to walk around a tanker. It's like a half step for him. He's like, I'm heading that way. That's it. I'm a lot like Godzilla, in a way. No, I'm not. Uh, what I mean is, I love the theme with infinite variety, yeah, no, finite variety, infinite repetition. So Dorf, I'm not talking about Dorf the man, I'm talking about Dorf the phenomenon. Now, Dorf and anti-Dorf. What is a Dorf? Dorf is like, when you make a mistake, for instance, that guy that sold his truck to Al Qaeda or whatever, or, uh, or to ISIS, you know that, the plumber, Midwest plumber or whatever. The guy's turning his truck in, he's gonna get a new one. He's like, there, he's in a hurry, they're in a hurry, and he's like, I didn't have time to take my logo off. And they're like, oh yeah, don't worry about it, we'll take that logo off. And by, don't worry about it, we'll take our logo, that logo off, as they're actually shipping that overseas. So evidently they don't make giant pickup trucks in the, in the Middle East? Why not? I don't understand. Um, so they shipped it off. ISIS bought it. And they're racing around the desert shooting people and firing RPGs into, you know, villages with like Joe's plumbing on the side of their, uh, their Ford F-150 or whatever. That guy dwarfed up. You probably know the story, but he had to, he had to shut his business down and everything, man. He had, to, he had to run for it. All he did was trade his truck in, and he was getting death threats. That's a simple thing that has repercussions that you can't even imagine is when you've dwarfed up. Now, what is anti-dwarf? And I think if the closest, probably a lot of us, we're all probably the same age for the most part. Um, varying levels of looks though. I, I think that I'm way near the top of the good looking uh, part. Uh, I, I would like hazard to guess Huffy72 might be the, the least attractive of us all, but you don't know because he's masked up all the time. I'm just joking. I've seen him actually without a mask on. He's a handsome, friendly looking guy. So I guess Jay Vega. I mean, it's like, Jay Vega, I'm at the top. Not the top top, I mean, I'm near the top is what I meant to say. Anyway, Antidorf. Inspector Clouseau. Same general mindset. You know, not, not a whole lot of logic and forethought going through there, but things just turn out right, you know? Inspector Clouseau gets the Pink Panther. He's the anti-dwarf. I was going to think more about it, like clueless, clueless something, well-meaning, that things just turn out like better than, better than you could possibly hope for. I don't know who that is, but I'm going to be thinking about it. So 
like Chuck Norris can't be the anti-dwarf. Because Chuck Norris like has a plan, he's intelligent, he's capable, he's trained. He knows just what he's going to do and just what the outcome's going to be like. Dwarf and the anti-dwarf, they don't have a clue. Don't have a clue at all. One of them, things are going to be way worse than you could possibly imagine. The other, things are going to turn out way better than you could possibly imagine. I hope that clears some things up. I hope you now got a mindset, a dwarf mindset. It's not the guy. It's not some guy. Though we are meeting at that guy's house Labor Day for Sudden Stop Dwarf Day. Sudden Stop Dwarf Day. Slam on the brakes. Buy at the stop sign. It's perfectly legal. We check that out. Um, I'd like to see more than eight people this year. Like, be, like, it'd be nice to have like 15, maybe 20. <clears throat> Safety first, though, everybody. Like, it's not fun if someone gets in a car wreck. Uh, other than that, it's really fun. Six hours of pure fun. All right. I've mowed an extra strip there. There's two strips now I've mowed. It's getting thoroughly... Eventually, the whole thing will be mowed.